Hi, my name's Becky and I've got psoriasis, but also I've got a condition called psoriatic arthritis, which are linked, both are linked. And I just felt like I wanted to do this vlog just to tell my story. So I'll start from the beginning. In 2015, I um, had a little scab on the back of my head um and i kept picking it <laughs> didn't know what it was and then um, a couple of months later it grew back and back and by august 2015 it ended up being quite big so um i knew what it was straight away because my sister's got psoriasis she's she has it all over her body so i went to the doctors and he asked me if i had any like swollen joints or anything and i thought oh what a weird question to ask of all the come over my skin but um, that was in august but then a few months later by october my right knee had ballooned up really bad where i couldn't bend it couldn't move couldn't could barely get off up the stairs and down the stairs I had to go on my bum <laughs> so um so i went back to the doctors and um, mentioned that I had psoriasis as well and so she sent me for scans and blood tests they came went back to the doctors they came back and she referred me to the rheumatology and as soon as I got to the rheumatology I didn't really understand what was going on and um, it would happen that fast the doctor um, just said right blah 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 and just right um you're going on this medication and blah blah and i thought right so what what's up with me what what forgot and he went oh you've got psoriatic arthritis and he just wrote me there and then sent me for blood tests and chest x-rays and said i'm going on to a uh, methotrexate and i just sort of left thinking right oh right okay so i went home told my husband he went eh, eh. I thought we were going to hospital and uh, maybe get an injection and that were it. So then went on got went on to the methotrexate. Oh that the nausea on that were awful. But ended up with a rash all down my thighs. Um so the um twice on the on the tablets. So they put me on two injections and tried to go up slowly ended up with a rash, had a biopsy on the rash and it came back um, vasculitis so oof, so um, after that so then they um, tried me on hydroxychloroquine and considering I only really had um, a swollen knee that was my first sign, nothing else, no other, no other pain just in my knee so when they put me on hydroxychloroquine, um, I came out in tiny little spots all on my back and my shoulders. That turned out to be psoriasis, so they took me straight back off of that. Cause, because I, I only had it on my scalp, they didn't want me to get it anywhere else. So they tried me back on methotrexate and eased me up from 10 milligrams. But as soon as I went past 15 milligrams, that was it. I in, um, got the rash on my thighs so that was that so they ended up putting me on a, a drug called um, Stilara which was injections that was the injection side of it was horrible it was more like a proper syringe and needle not like the pens um, but that stopped working but by this point I, haven't, I didn't only have it in my knee I did it in my feet and my hands, my right hand and my shoulder or having steroid jabs in my shoulder and then so after about a year on that that didn't work so I ended up on a Primalast which I'm actually on now and um, started that in November 2019 and that stopped working and my hands, I don't know if you can tell, but they're all swollen. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but they're all swollen. 
and um so i'm going on to going to be going on to a new um drug called tel tels tel tels <laughs> tels and that's an injection but i've just got to wait for that to come so and as you can see i've got a cold sore I seem to get a lot of cold sores all the time so far i've got psoriatic arthritis in my left shoulder my right shoulder and these bones here my hips my knee and my left knee sometimes both feet both hands both wrists and elbows but they do tend to move about so they don't they're not always there the move one from one to the other and in the last five year of having sorry six year of having psoriatic arthritis i don't think i've got any better really i think i've got worse but as people keep telling me if i wasn't on the medication i probably would be even worse than i was so hopefully oh i've also got it in my jaw that, that can be really painful when that flares up. So I just felt like I wanted to tell my story and just let people know that they're not alone. There is other people out there and we're, we are suffering. And with it being an invisible illness, people see you and think you're okay. Think, oh, you, looked, you look fine to me. But they don't know, do they? Please feel free to comment in the chat about your own personal experience with psoriatic arthritis i would really appreciate it and we can we can all help each other and we're all in it together really not alone my rheumatologist as well also said i've got some kind of antibody that people with psoriatic arthritis don't normally have calls me unique because she said I've definitely got psoriatic arthritis because I get the sausage fingers and the sausage toes and everything else that goes with it but she just doesn't understand these blood tests that come back every time she does them that's why she can only put me on certain medications and that a lot of the medication she wanted to put me on was um you have to have methotrexate with it but because i come out in an allergic reaction as they're calling it i um can't have it i can't have a lot of the biologicals or other medication and that's why i'm starting this tolts which is a new one a fairly new one so even my nurse today said she didn't know much about it so fingers crossed it works because I really don't know what else to do. My my consultant had to actually go and speak to someone in Leeds about, about to discuss my next treatment. The main guy on psoriatic arthritis. I had to speak to him to ask him about what medication I can go on. So uh, I'd rather not be unique. I'd rather be just like everyone else and have normal blood. <laughs> I really hope this video can help people as I haven't seen many videos or vlogs on YouTube. There is a few but not that many and there isn't much about psoriatic arthritis or invisible illnesses. So hope it helps someone. At the minute, I'm waiting um, to get a steroid jab in my knee, but it's not going to be till the 1st of May, so I've got to wait all that time, which is a bit of a nightmare, but I'll have to wait as my, my knee is swollen up again. My hands, I can't even move them. I can't even, I have to use steak knives to try and cook my food, but even then I struggle. So um, living off soups, soups and cereal, something that's just easy to eat. 
I struggle every day with psoriatic arthritis. It affects me from the moment I wake up. I wake up in the morning and I go, oh, yeah, the pain's still here. I'm still here and the pain's still here. But I've got two beautiful children and I've just got to get on with it and do the best I can for them as it's hard during Covid when the kids are at home it's not been too bad because I haven't had to do the school run but the kids are going back soon so we'll be doing the school run which is hard my husband said he can try and do them when he's on nights. He can take them to school in the morning, so let's hope so. So far, I have had three steroid jabs in my knee and three in my shoulder so far. And God knows how many steroid jabs in the bum and steroid tablets. All in the past six years, five years, six years. Thank you for watching. Bye.